Hi and welcome to Belgian Diacals Restorations. I'm Johan and this week's restoration is another contribution to the monthly Diacals and Models Community Challenge on Facebook. This month's challenge is to restore or refresh any European vehicle. Since I've been doing mostly European vehicles on my channel, I've been looking for something special. This is a rather obscure Tempo Matador Rapid Camper issued by Ziku between 1966 and 1971 in a 160 scale. Tempo started out in Germany as a manufacturer of military vehicles in the 1930s and 40s. After the war, Tempo produced a whole gamma of off-road and utility vehicles until it partnered with Hanomag AG in 1966. The Matador itself was in production between 1957 and 1963. Much like the bus on the picture, our camper was originally painted in off-white. It had blue roof windows and a kayak on top. It also featured jeweled headlights, which are gone on this model. The kayak is also missing and one of the previous owners painted the model dark blue. I will give this model a new coat of paint and viewers who watched my video of the Zico for Transit police van will know that I already have a solution for the missing headlights. Plenty of work ahead so let's get out the tools and give this model a makeover. The model is held by two rivets in the front and a lip in the back. I drill out the two rivets and the model comes apart. Since they are pretty small, I have to switch to a smaller drill bit to avoid making the hole too large. Inside we have the wheels and axles and the suspension rods. All are pretty rusty. Then the orange interior, the side door and two separate window units. The clear windows and the blue roof windows. The roof rack for the kayak simply clips loose. This will go into the parts drawer. Inside the casting we can clearly see the original color. The bottom plate, the wheels, axles and suspension rods will spend the night in household vinegar to remove the rust. Before I strip the paint I drill out the holes of the headlights and drill all the way through. Now I can test fit the tack nails with the rounded heads that I will use as replacements. With the paint removed I wirebrush the body and the door to clean them up and prepare them for painting. I drill pilot holes in both rivet posts and tap 2 mm screw threads to fix two screws. Before we can start painting I have to do some body work on the camper. I prepare some milliput epoxy putty and fill up the holes. After about 4 hours the putty is turned to stone and I can file away the excess material and sand everything down until the roof is flush. Thank you. 
With the bodywork done, I primed the body and door with AK Interactive White Primer. I don't like the original Off-White. This model also came as a minibus in a pale green, which is also the kind of green you would see on an early 60s camper bus. I went for Vallejo Dug Egg Green, which is that 60s pastel green you see in a lot of vans of that period. I'm curious how this will contrast with the blue roof windows. The bright orange interior will look awful in the green van, so I spray over it with grey Vallejo Hobby paint. When the paint is cured, I apply some very minor detailing to the model. The rear lights in red and the indicator lights in orange. I give the heads of the tech nails a coat of Molotov Chrome. And finally the paint job is sealed with Vallejo polyurethane gloss varnish. The vinegar has removed the rust from the axle suspension and bottom plate. The bottom plate and the suspension rods are wire brushed to bring back the original shine. The wheels have been painted by a previous owner so they take a bath in dental disinfectant together with the windows to remove the paint. The wheels and the windows come out of the dental and I can simply brush the paint away. The axles then also receive a polish with the wire brush to bring back their shine. Since the wheels are worn and the dental gave them a grey shine, I paint them with tint Tamiya X1 Gloss Black. I polish the windows with polishing compound for car headlights. I forgot to press record when doing the large window piece, so you have to take my word for it. Note the curtains that are cast in the windows. These kind of details make the Zico V-Series in my opinion the dinky toys of Germany. When the clear coat has hardened, it's time to reassemble the model. First I cut the tack nails to the right length and fix them in the holes with a small amount of super glue. I insert the blue roof windows, then the normal windows and the grey interior.
I drop the wheels in the bottom plate and the suspension rods and I can close up the model. Seiko made a lot of odd choices for their models and the Tempo Matador is one of them. It's a rather unknown German van that shares some similarities with the Volkswagen T1 bus. This model had been painted blue by one of its owners, getting paint on the windows and the wheels. The boat and the jeweled headlights were missing and the axle suspension and bottom plate were heavily corroded. And here is the Tempo Matador camper after restoration. I removed the roof rack for the boat, filled the holes and gave the model a brand new Doug Egg Green paint job. The interior has been painted, the windows are cleaned and polished, the axles and bottom plate have been polished and the wheels have been refreshed to their original black color. The blue of the roof windows plays nicely with the pastel green. I think the end result turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tick the notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video!